Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Etsy advertising, Etsy ads. The thing that so many people ask about, so many people are wondering, you know, should I use them? Should I not? Is it worth it? How do I make it profitable? These are things that you've probably asked yourself, you know, in the past. Before we jump in, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. It truly helps us rank higher in the YouTube algorithm so we can get our message out to more people and help people just, just like you. So Etsy offers two advertising programs to help you reach buyers. The first and most effective is Etsy ads. Etsy ads make your products more visible by featuring them in search results on category pages and at the bottom of other product pages. You may have seen these on the bottom of your products before. Even if your products don't naturally rank high in search, you could jump to the front of the line and show your products first by using these ads. Okay, so where your products are displayed depends on how much you want to pay. This is where Etsy ads are. Etsy ads works on a cost per click basis, which means that you pay whenever someone clicks on your ad. However, unlike other advertising platforms, you're not directly in control of how much you pay per click. So instead, you'll set a daily budget. You've probably seen this before. This determines how much you're willing to spend on ads on a given day. So Etsy's algorithm takes this budget into account when they're deciding on where to show your ads. So each time a search is, you know, a search is made and it happens to fit, you know, your product listing, Etsy runs an auction for all relevant advertisers. And your automated bid will be it will be as competitive as possible while also staying with the bound within the bounds of your budget. Okay. So for example, Etsy won't let you spend a full dollar on a single click if your daily budget is three dollars per day. Okay. The highest bids win best positions. So those with like a bigger daily budget, right? If you spend a hundred dollars per day type of type of budget, you're going to tend to win the majority of the top rankings more often. Okay. So you're gonna be higher up on that first page for a specific search. So however, Etsy also takes in some other things in consideration, right? They look at listing quality. If you have a high quality listing, remember we talked about like the, the different scores. So if you have a high quality listing score, with optimized data and a history of positive reviews, you may not have to spend as much as other sellers that are, you know, that have lower quality listings and you still be really competitive in the advertising auction. You can't control the auction, but it's just nice to know how, how Etsy is actually working on the backside. So setting up your, your Etsy ad campaign is, is super, super easy. Etsy makes it really like very intuitive. Right? All you have to do is basically set a, set a budget. You, you need to set only basically two factors. One is a daily budget, and this is the maximum you're willing to pay for ads, right? Per day. Etsy's algorithm won't exceed this budget and they're going to turn off your ads basically as soon as your budget is, is hit for the day. Very likely, at least lately, the past, it's like one or two years, Etsy doesn't even max out your budget fully. So typically we would recommend members to actually max out their budget or you know, set the budget higher and likely Etsy's not going to spend all the money. Two is targeted listings. So the product or products that you want to advertise that all you have to do is click on which ones you want to advertise or not. So you could choose as many as you want or as little as you want. You could choose one, you could choose all 200, all 1000, doesn't really matter. So when you just started, Etsy actually recommends that you run a campaign that targets all of your products and has a daily budget of at least like three to $5. Running this campaign for like 30 days will give the Etsy algorithm the time it needs to actually process your data, to run the experiments and ideally optimize your advertising. Okay, so this kind of gives Etsy some feedback. Once this initial period is over, try experimenting with your, with your budget and with your product targets, like which ones you want on, which ones you want off and check out your performance, right? You can look at the advertising performance and see what's working, what's not. Etsy doesn't give you a lot of control over your advertising, which is kind of a downside, but you can still use some of those metrics like orders from ads or revenue from ads uh, to determine like which products are, you know, worth advertising, which ones aren't, which ones are breaking even, which ones are making a profit. And they also have like return on ad spend, which is ROAS, ROAS, they call that. And so you can kind of look at those things as well. Etsy also started offering their, their second program, which is offsite ads. So we get a lot of questions about this program. This is essentially an ad listing service. So this is again, offsite ads. It's different than the Etsy ads. So Etsy advertises your products on Google, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, Bing, other things like that. And Etsy actually handles all the details and the cost of the listings. And then, then they advertise the ads for you. You pay only when someone makes a purchase. 
Okay. And that payment is, is 15% of the sale. Okay. So that means that you benefit from the exposure of the advertising without the risk of, you know, a pay-per-click type of ad. So again, just be prepared to pay that 15% of the sale. It's basically like a finder's fee. But if your store makes under $10,000 annually, you know, you're going to pay 15%. But if, if you actually make more than $10,000, you know, per year, then you could, you, I think it reduces down to 12%. Okay. So to enroll in this program, you don't need to do anything. Etsy automatically includes all sellers in their Etsy offsite, offsite ads program. And, uh, and it's kind of a little bit of a pain to turn it off. So if you're not interested in having Etsy advertise for you, you'll need to opt out in your store settings. Okay. And not all sellers, you know, are able to opt out. Okay. So just so you know, so if you make $10,000 per year or more, then you actually can't opt out of this program. This is kind of a downside for some people if they really, really don't, don't want to be, you know, included in the Etsy offsites program. But for me and for a lot of our members, I believe that we should all be probably enrolled in this because it's advertising, it's risk-free. Our margins are going to be higher than 15% anyway. Highly recommend that you do this. Awesome. So that's pretty much the, the rundown of the two Etsy ads programs. So we're going to be diving in a little bit deeper here shortly with examples and share screen and things like that. We'll go deeper on Etsy ads and how you can optimize those things. But anyway, let me know if you have any questions as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, Everbee is the best product research tool out there. It is incredibly powerful for figuring out which products to sell on Etsy, which ones are going to be profitable, which ones are not. And there is a free forever plan. So there's zero credit card required, zero risk. Okay, so sign up in the link in the description below. It's 100% free to join and we'll see you guys then.